they are the Crystal Gems, and they are here to save their 15 facts. I'm Rabbit Ears Blog, and welcome to Animation Bliss Top 50 Animated Facts Series. Today's video will be about everybody's favorite half-human, half-gem kid hero, Steven Universe. For this video, we will be listing 15 facts about Steven Universe that every cartoon fan should know about. And if you want to check out new videos from this channel, then feel free to subscribe to our channel and tune in every Sunday for new videos and every Monday for new videos about the Top 50 Animated Facts series. Also, we would like to thank the viewers who have suggested this video. So let's enter the world of gems and check out those facts. Number 1. Steven Universe was created by Rebecca Sugar and it premiered on Cartoon Network on November 4th, 2013. It should be noted that Steven Universe is the very first Cartoon Network show to have a female creator. Although Rebecca Sugar got her start on Cartoon Network by working as a storyboard revisionist on Cartoon Network's other popular TV series, Adventure Time. Number 2. The character of Steven Universe himself is actually based on Rebecca Sugar's younger brother, Steven Sugar. Not only was Steven Sugar the inspiration for Steven Universe's character, but he's also the lead background designer for the show, and he also worked as a background artist for Pendleton Ward's Bravest Warrior series and is currently working on a new indie game called Magbot. Number 3. Although most of the gym characters use female pronouns and are voiced by female voice actresses, the gyms themselves are actually genderless. Rebecca Sugar stated that gyms are just gyms and the only gym member who actually has a defined gender is Steven himself, since he's half-human. Number 4. The relationships shown between Steven and the Crystal Gems are actually based off of different types of human relationships in real life. Steven represents the codependent relationship, which means that he would sacrifice his own happiness to help out other people. Amethyst, on the other hand, represents the calendependent relationship as she tends to be a bit too headstrong and tends to push people away from her. Meanwhile, Pearl represents a dependent relationship as she depends on the other members of the Crystal Gems to keep her steady. And finally, Garnet represents the interdependent relationship as her relationship with herself, as she is actually a fusion of a gem couple, stands for equality between Ruby and Sapphire. Number 5. According to supervising director Ian Jones Cordy, in order to give birth to Steven, Rose Quartz shapeshifted a womb inside her, so that way Steven could be born naturally, since most gems are made from rock formations. Number 6. Notice that there are many songs within Steven Universe? Well, aside from hearing great hits like Garnett's song, Stronger Than You, and What's the Use of Feeling Blue, it turns out that Steven himself actually wrote the show's theme song, We Are the Crystal Gems, when he was just a toddler. Wow, that Steven sure knows his music. Number 7. The Crystal Gems fighting styles are actually based off of different dance moves. Pearl's fighting style is based off of ballet, Amethyst's fighting style is based off of dance hall and club dancing, with her special dance move being called the stanking leg, and Garnett's fighting style is based off a dance move called whacking. Number 8. Like many popular cartoons, Steven Universe is loaded with many pop cultural references. Some examples included in the series is the Sailor Moon manga that was seen on Steven's nightstand in the episode House Guests, and the episode Kiki's Pizza Delivery Service, which was based on Hayao Miyazaki's classic film, Kiki's Delivery Service. Also, there are references to other movies and TV shows, such as A Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors, The End of Evangelion, Dragon Ball Z, and Cyborg 009. Number 9. If you're a huge comic book fan, like myself, then you would definitely be excited at the fact that Garnet and Pearl actually made an appearance in the DC comic book series Batgirl. Garnet and Pearl made a brief appearance in the Batgirl series in issue number 41, where they are seen talking with each other behind a booth in a bar. Number 10. Another comic book reference in the series is that Rose Quartz Armory from the episode Lion Tune the Movie is actually modeled after Batman's Batcave. The armory features everything similar to Batman's Batcave, including having suits of armor and cases, and having a giant statue of a penny. Number 11. Remember the episode The Answer, the one that explained Garnett's origin story? Well, on September 6, 2016, The Answer was adapted into a children's book, which was published by Penguin Young Readers Group. It was also written by Rebecca Sugar herself, along with artwork by Tiffany Ford and Ellie Machaka, 
and the story further explores the relationship shared between Ruby and Sapphire. Number 12. On April 2nd, 2015, Steven Universe had a crossover episode with fellow Cartoon Network show Uncle Grandpa in the episode Say Uncle. In this episode, Uncle Grandpa tries to help Steven with his gem powers. However, this episode is considered non-canon to the main series. I mean, even Uncle Grandpa pouring this out in the episode. Number 13. Like many popular shows, there's actually a comic book series about Steven Universe. In 2014, writer Jeremy Soares and artist Coleman Engel wrote a Steven Universe comic book series that was published by Kaboom Studios. The original series ended its run in 2015, but in February 2017, the comic book series was rebooted and was being written by Melanie Gilman along with artwork by Katie Farina. Number 14. Over the years, Steven Universe has been nominated for and won numerous awards during this run. It has received seven nominations and four wins for the Behind the Voice Actor Awards, been nominated for five Annie Awards, been nominated for one Young Artist Award, been nominated for one Hall of Game Award, has won one James Tiptree Jr. Award, been nominated for two Teen Choice Awards, been nominated for one Kids Choice Award, and one Glad Media Awards, been nominated for two Primetime Emmy Awards, and has been nominated for the 67th Primetime Creative Arts Emmy Awards. Whew. Now that's a lot of awards and recognition for Steven Universe. And finally, number 15. Paradot has her own Twitter account. No, seriously. Paradot's Twitter account is Paradot5XG. Paradot's Twitter account is actually run by the creators of the show, including storyboard artist and revisionist Lauren Zoo. So that's the top 15 animated facts about Steven Universe. Did you learn enough about the history of Steven Universe through this video? Please comment below. And don't forget to suggest more cartoons and anime to do for the top 15 animated facts series. Also, if you felt that we didn't cover enough facts regarding Steven Universe, then please feel free to ask us to do another top 15 facts about Steven Universe. I'm Ravity's Blog Animation Bliss, and don't worry, the Crystal Gems will be there to save the day, as written by Steven himself. <laughs>